This is Allison from Ambition Data. Today I want to talk about the age of customer equity, which is an age that we're just coming into. Um, a couple of years ago I put out a presentation that you can still get off my LinkedIn profile about um, how digital has changed everything. But it wasn't until I saw this particular graphic and some supporting information behind it that I realized it really has. What this graphic says is that companies that are being acquired are being valued differently. And so the gray line shows how brand value has decreased. Brand value is the product name, the domain, the goodness of the brand, the trademarks and trade names, all those things that are protected by your brand and your brand identity. That is actually decreasing. And instead, what's increasing is the blue line, and that's customer value. That means knowing the individual value of all your customers, particularly your repeating customers. And this switch of brand value decreasing to customer value increasing has opened up this age of customer equity. And it's no coincidence that it's happened between 2007 to 2009 and it's just starting to take off now. Let me tell you why. The reason why gets to the timing of three factors. One is the rise of social media. The same timing applies, and I realize this is very small, but it's 2008 to 2010 when you see this curve come up and then eventually flatten so that social media has grown and grown and grown and it is now kind of flattening. But part of that voice, that social voice, has empowered customers and that's reflected in the equity. We've also seen the rise of mobile over desktop. Now it's not the device itself that is indicative or even the, pa the point where they pass each other. It's the fact that when people use mobile devices, there's more and more information flowing to us about who people are, what they want, what they need to do at a particular time. So we get lots of contextual information, lots more information than we ever had. And it's these two pieces that help us see and hear our customers more clearly than ever before. But that's not all. We also have the fact that the global internet is flattening. And that means that we have to do more with people we have because we won't just acquire new people. We'll, we have to work harder and work more with the folks that we have. So the game is on. There's only so many customers that are available on the internet. Are we going to have a great relationship with those customers by understanding who they are and what we can do for them as well as their value to the company that keeps the company growing and moving forward or are we going to continue to send the same general messages out and that's the that's the choice we face and that is the age of customer equity